Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Up until Thursday, Southern Nevada government leaders have been waiting for the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development to give an answer on their request for $367 million from a federal program aimed at helping people buy foreclosed homes. First posted to the ReviewJournal.com breaking news section, the answer? No, Nevada gets nothing. The RJ Special Projects team goes into greater detail Friday with reaction from Clark County and from a very unhappy Las Vegas Mayor Oscar Goodman. News from the Reed family, starting with Nevada U.S. Senator Harry Reed in a Thursday event that was planned before this past weekend's headline grabbing book, grabbing book uh, the one in which Reed was quoted talking in 2008 about then U.S. Senator Barack Obama and his campaign for the White House with those now famous words about the candidate's light colored skin and his ability to turn on and off a Negro accent. My friends, we're not post-racial. We have a long way to go, and I am glad we have in Harry Reid a champion who's willing to keep opening doors, knocking down walls, and opening up opportunities for all of us to become one America. That is why Harry Reid deserves re-election to the United States Senate. The entire video on African Americans for Harry Reid by our Jason Bean is on the ReviewJournal.com multimedia pages with the full story from RJ political writer Laura Myers in print and online. Reid himself was not at the gathering. He was in New York giving a speech to the geothermal energy industry. Now to Reid's son, Clark County Commissioner Rory Reid, and his run for Nevada's Democratic gubernatorial nomination. Political writer Ben Spillman reports in Friday's printed online RJ, not just on Rory Reid, but others seeking to unseat current Governor Jim Gibbons and the state of their finances on their campaigns. More than 30 years after he died in combat, Major Russell Goodman was honored in a ceremony at Nellis Air Force Base Thursday. We call him our hero. And we celebrate that our country kept its solemn vow to all who serve. We will do all we can to bring you home. This has been really kind of a dream come true. Uh, it's very much an honor to the family to have him home finally. We have waited a very long time for this to occur. More of Justin Yurkinen's video online. Goodman's remains were only recently positively identified after the one-time Nellis Thunderbird pilot's F-4B Phantom was shot down in Vietnam in the 1960s. She could have been sent to prison for up to 18 years. Instead, one-time Clark County recorder Fran Dean gets five years probation has to pay back $54,000 of restitution after her earlier guilty pleas on charges that she sold public information for personal gain when she was Clark County's recorder. Review Journal court reporter Francis McCabe has more on the sentencing and Dean's emotional reaction in print and online Friday. In other court news in Friday's RJ, spine surgeon Mark Cabins of Las Vegas also sentenced to five years probation. That's part of his plea deal in federal court. In a complicated case, that in allegations of a network of Las Vegas doctors and lawyers cheating clients out of honest services involving protecting doctors from malpractice lawsuits and the sharing of kickbacks from settlements. Reporter Carrie Gertevino spells it all out for you. We have a couple of money-related education notes, starting with UNLV, where President Neil Samatrask and Chancellor Dan Clage we're scheduled to hold a town hall meeting in the university's student union building to talk about the governor's plans to cut more out of the higher education budget as the state's economic woes continue. The Review Journal's Richard Lake reports for you Friday. And education writer Jim Haug is looking into the Clark County School District's idea of possibly eliminating low-cost lunches throughout the district, but instead of making them low-cost, making them free for qualifying students. How reports there are federal reimbursement issues involved. And would somebody please say, it's finally Friday. Oh, wait, I just did. All right. That means another addition to the weekly Neon Guide to Doing and Dining, featuring Disney's The Lion King on the cover. But entertainment writer Mike Weatherford notes that The Lion King's head puppeteer is a busy, busy man. Find out what other shows have the Michael Curry stamp on them. And your weather. The National Weather Service still calling for big changes and chances for rain over the latter part of the Martin Luther King holiday weekend starting late Sunday and continuing into much of next week. Pretty nice ride up until then, though. 
uh, except for the last of Thursday's wind lingering into Friday morning. Daytime highs under a mostly sunny sky, staying around 60, lows around 40 until storm clouds take over. The highs will drop into the 50s, and the uh, overnight low is actually going to climb a little bit as a result of the cloud cover. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com.